Look at it! Look at it! No way! <laughs> it's a barrel! You guys, super exciting episode this week. That behind me there is one of the most unique waves on planet Earth. Now, the reason I say that is because I'm currently in Switzerland, a country known for its magical little villages and massive mountains. It's a landlocked country, meaning there's, there's no ocean, there's nowhere you should be able to surf, except you can, because of this pool here. This is Alaya Bay, I'm kind of a kook, and this week, hey. I'm just trying to get barreled with my friends, man. See that clip? That's how you get barreled in Switzerland. further elaborate on what this wave pool is, well, it's a pool that makes waves. And pizza! That, that was pretty obvious, wasn't it? <laughs> As I said that, I realized. See? For surfing. I couldn't tell you how it works. I don't, I don't know anything about the science behind it. I wish I did. It's all hidden under that white tube back there. There's the whole machine in there, and all you hear is some weird scientific noises like and the next thing you know, waves are made. So, there's two sides of the wave pool. There's a right side here where the wave reels off of this wall so that if you're regular footed, you can surf the wave front side, but there's also a left that reels off of this wall so that if you're goofy footed, you can ride front side too. Kind of the win-win. See? That's the left and that's the right. Everybody wins. This guy's this guy's super good. This guy's good. Oh, that was sick. That was cool. Wow. It's gonna be me in a minute. Ha. Hopefully. That's gonna be me in ten years. Wait, what? That's gonna be me in ten years. <laughs> no, in a minute. No, you get it? What? Oh, balding. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just a good surfer. Thank you. Got myself a little coffee before my heat, some bread. We're gonna make some tomato bread. How exhilarating is that? So, ever since I, uh, ever since I started surfing, there is one thing in the sport that has had me hooked since the beginning, and that is the art of getting barreled. Getting barreled is when you, the surfer, are literally inside the wave, racing the curtain of the wave at the exact rate that it's going. There's no better way to describe it than you're literally inside the wave. Not lucky enough for me, I've gotten barreled a couple of times out in the ocean, but it's been super few and far between. So, the goal of this entire episode is to try and make it out of a barrel. If I do that, I'll be extremely happy. We'll see. Let's hope I get barreled. in about 30 minutes here. There's like five different levels that you can choose from on this wave pool. One of them's beginner, the next is like Malibu, then there's like intermediate, advanced, and expert. Now, expert's the only one with a barrel. So that's what I'm doing. Also, the names don't really match the ability level. I'm far from an expert surfer, but I am surfing in the expert heat because my goal is to get barrel. I think we got this. I'm on, I'm on. Another interesting fact about the pool, you gotta wear a 5'4 wetsuit. It's uh, it's pretty cold in there, it's like Oregon. But that's all right, it's worth it, there's good waves. All right, time to get barreled, hopefully. Hey, you think I got it? It's a heavy claim. I think I got it. Time to get barreled. I think I got it, Gene. Huh? You think we got it? What got it? We're gonna get barreled? Yeah. Yep. Last chance. 
There's one set left. I got one more wave. I haven't really gotten barreled yet. This is my last my last chance here. We failed. We failed miserably. Well, we have a goal, guys. We have to get barreled at this wave pool before we leave. I'm very new to the barrel experience. As many of you know, it's been a long, tough journey for me, but I believe that I can do it. Day one, failed. All right, we literally just scrambled down from our apartment, 30 minutes up the hill, had like 20 minutes before the session started, realized there was nobody out, so we jumped in. It's just me, Will, and Caden on this side, and just Forrest and Charlie over there. We're hopefully gonna score. This is when we get barreled, under the lights. What a day. Look at this water. Perfect sunny day. Fresh snow on the Alps behind us. Insanity. Actually, you see all that steam? That shows you it's pretty cold. Gotta get out of my wetsuit. Major dream come true right now. We're heading to a town called Zermatt, and it's this fairy tale, most famous place in all of Switzerland. I'm sure you've heard of it. Uh, it's where the legendary Matterhorn is. Thank you. And we're in a train right now, heading up to the village. I've always wanted to see this place. Just got off the train, and now we're here in Zermatt. Zermatt is, uh, I don't even, I don't even care to tell you about Zermatt. Now that I think about it, because I don't know anything about it, other than it's the town underneath the meadow. Oh, Mickey D's. Forrest just literally went, oh, Mickey D's. <laughs> In the midst of town. Oh, Mickey I'm D's. Star I'm starving. We just made it to the Matterhorn. Oh, Mickey oh, D's. Mickey D's, it's been such a Please, moment. guys, please. This is a really, really big deal for me today because the Matterhorn is a mountain that I've always wanted to see. I mean, it's a bucket, it's a bucket list thing. You me you can see the Matterhorn? Oh my God, the Matterhorn! Holy shit, dude. This is huge, boys. have any significance to you um just this place in general uh -huh. absolutely none nice i have no connection to it but i like it i enjoy <laughs> it i wish the sun was still up and over in the valley so that we had kind of even light but the mountain is uh 
is all backlit now, so it's a bit hard to capture, a bit hard to get drone shots, a bit hard to get good shots, but it's not about the shot. It's not always about the shot. You gotta remind yourself of that, us filmers. Sometimes it's just, uh, well, actually it's always just about the moment, really. You really gotta be present and gotta remember to be present when you got your camera in your hand. I just love taking pictures and love getting videos for the passion, but you can never let it get, you know, you can never let it replace the moment. Just kidding. I didn't actually get punched by a random guy. Look who I found yeah. in the middle of Europe. It's my mom and dad. It's also my mom's birthday. Mom, how old are you? Don't ask, please. <laughs> how old are you? Do you know? 63? No, Jesus. Four? No. Five? Jackson. 61. 62. Two? Oh. Yeah, it's showing. <laughs>